What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Before we get started, make sure to turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. Give this video a big thumbs up, it helps more people see it. Comment down below and do not forget to follow me over on Instagram. I'll link that down in my description. So for today's video, as you can see by the title, I will be doing a thrift flip. I went to the thrift store and I found these Levi jeans. They're um, blue cut, so they're a little wider at the bottom i found them in the men's section but they kind of fit me almost perfectly so i don't know if they're men's but they were only 2.99 and the green was 50 percent off so i got them for 150 and they're literally in like perfect condition there's like no stains or anything on them so then i'm gonna get these jeans and flip them i don't like the bottom part of them so i'm going to make them into really cute shorts i'm going to make these into a new pair of jean shorts probably distress them a little bit make some slits you know be a little spicy maybe do a little slit in the butt part i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but if you guys are excited for this video keep on watching so this is how the pants look as you can see they're a little more wider at the bottom which I don't really mind, but I want them, I just wanna make them into shorts. So they look pretty good, even if I close it up. Like they fit okay, they don't really fit high-waisted, and then the back fits like this. Let me close it up so you can see. And they're not really high-waisted, like I usually like my pants. As you can see, usually when I wear my pants, you can't see my underwear, like you can see it now, but they fit pretty well, like I said. It's just this is a little loose back here. So for today's video, you'll need a pair of scissors, also a pair of tweezers. They'll be your best friend for this DIY. And of course, the main star, a pair of old jeans that you are trying to upcycle. First thing you are going to do is try on the jeans and mark them where you want to cut. As you can see, I already marked mine where I want them cut. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a pair of high-waisted jeans I already have just as a guide. So the best way to cut your jeans just so it fits your body just right, instead of cutting them straight like you would think you would have to, you'll cut the jeans more at a diagonal. As you can see, I'm tracing my high-waisted pants which were cut at a diagonal just to make sure that the jeans fit my body better. Now once I have the first side cut, I'm just gonna fold the jean over and use that as my guide to cut the second leg just to make sure I'm cutting them evenly. So now that I have the shorts, I'm gonna take a pen and draw a line of where I want my first cut to be. Just as a guy, you don't have to draw the line, but I just wanted mine to be a little more precise. And I'm going to use my scissors just to cut out the line that I drew. Like I said, I want a cut in my booty, but that's optional for you guys. And now you're going to start just distressing the jean. This part is very, very tedious and it takes so long. My fingers hurt from doing all the distressing, but it's well worth it trust me so you're going to start with the tweezers and you'll see that the jean has blue and white threads you're going to try to pull the white threads that will give you the distressed look because it's just pulling out some of the fabric As you can see here, the top is distressed and the bottom isn't, and it just looks way nicer than that plain cut. And also, if you cut your line and it's not straight, your distress in the jeans will hide the fact that you didn't make a straight line. So 
so you can see that both the top and bottom are distressed now it looks so good it takes forever so trust me trust the process because it's going to take a while it's going to hurt but it's going to come out so good so i'm going to do the same thing i did um with the pocket of the jeans do it where i cut the pants out to make them short so i can distress the bottom as well do not rush this process because if you rush it it's not going to come out as good so just take your time pull thread by thread i sped it up here because if i didn't speed this clip up it would literally been three hours of me doing this whole entire jean it took forever like i said but it's definitely worth it So here I'm just showing you the difference between the jean that I distressed and the part that's just cut regular. You can tell the distressed side of the jean looks way better than that straight blunt line. And since I made the pocket in the back, I did want to go ahead and put a slit in the front. And distress that a little bit but I'm going to do two slits one off camera I'm going to do this the first small one is on camera is the same process you're just pulling out the white threads of the jeans and then I'm gonna make a second slit which is going to be bigger at the bottom see this is how it looks it looks so good already without it even being washed now that I'm done with my front design, I'm going to go off camera and distress the rest of the bottom of the jeans because like I said, it will take a little bit of time. Okay, this is almost the finished product. I got the design in the front that I distressed. The bottoms are distressed. You see they look so good. And also I cut the back pocket. So I'm going to pop this in a washer and dry them just so that the machine can work as magic. It, they are wearable like this but for some reason when you pop it in the washer and dryer it just um, enhances the distress look and I'll be back once that process is done to show you the final result.